it's Mr. Grable here. So we're going through fourth grade go math, um, chapter three, lesson two, and this focuses on estimating products, um, specifically two digit by two digit. So we'll just kind of get into it. I don't think that this lesson is going to be super complicated for us. We've really been working hard on estimating numbers and using um, our knowledge of place value to rename numbers. So let's just kind of get into it. All right, so this first problem says to estimate the product of 61 and 17 by rounding, how would you round the factors? And we can see that there's another step. So estimate round what it's close to. So right here, it says round 61 to, let's see, they're going to be 60 or it's going to be 70. It's definitely closer to 60. And 17 is closer to... 10 or is it closer to 20? Well, it's closer to 20. So we can check. So it would be 60 times 20. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little goofy. Because um, if we think of 60 times 2 tens, we know that 2 tens, this is still 20. But if we name it like this, it will really help you. Because I know that. 60 times 2 tens is 120 tens. I can see that 120 because 2 times 6 is 12 with 0. And then 120 tens, 120 tens. Because remember, we got the ones place, we got the tens place, we got the hundreds place, we got the thousands. So 120 tens. So this kind of can be tricky for some of us, but if I think of my place value chart, there's how I read it. You have to hold the place for the ones, right, with that zero. Another good, good way to look at this is that zero my hero trick, right? So we have six times two is 12, and we have two zeros to move, right? So either way that you do it, is is great um and i guess it's good to talk about like so 10 times a 10. see the tens place see the tens place here well two tens place that's that equals 100. so that's why we would say 1200 because there's two tens here and that's going to get us into the hundred place so all that place value stuff can kind of be tricky but i don't think it's so tricky that we're not going to be able to do it. Um, so let's estimate the product by rounding each factor to the nearest 10. So what you would need to do on your paper is you can write it down horizontally. You know, horizontally, remember there's that Z that tells me side to side. Or you can write it down vertically. And it wants us to estimate the product so we're going to estimate first so if you like doing the problem horizontally i don't recommend this but um you're going to put your estimate underneath and then our estimated product over here so this becomes 60 times i'm estimating the nearest 10 so 30 or 40 closer to 40. so this would be 60 times 4 tenths is 240 Tens. So, um, I see my 60 times 4 right there. So, it's 2,400 or 24 and then move to 0. Alright, so, if you like to do it, if you do your problems um, vertically, like um, I do, you would just write your estimated numbers off to the side here. We're going to multiply. It is important that you put this symbol. Um, 6 times 4 is 24. 1, 2, 0. Boom. There you go. Alright, we're going to do one more problem. 67 times 23. So here you go. We'll rewrite it. 
and it says estimate the product by rounding each factor to the nearest ten. So nearest ten, nearest ten, sixty-seven times twenty-three. I guess it would be a good job to um, a good idea. I'm sorry to write down estimate or round on your pink piece of paper as you show your work. That way, you're really focused on what you're supposed to be doing. All right, so this let's round these numbers. So Seventy times twenty, right? Seven times two is fourteen. I have one two zero. That's it. So if you're doing it um, vertically, it would be 70 times 20. 70 times two tens would be 140, and it's in a tens place, so i got to put the one there. That's it. Like, I think one of the biggest problems that we're struggling with in class right now is being precise with our multiplication facts and being precise with um, moving the zeros and understanding how we're multiplying Two tens and how two tens is really a hundred. Um, so make sure that you slow down. Make sure that you're precise and accurate with your math facts. Let me know if you have any issues. Bye.